All right, so we're going to go ahead and get going here. Um, we are working on project number five. And hold on, I have to go live here. There's like a little bit of a delay. So got to start talking before I hit go live. And is my audio good? Yeah, we're good there. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and pull up GitHub. Because I, I set up the initial files at work. And... It's not there. If we can, I how do I refresh? Fetch origin, maybe? No. Did I not push it? I'm pretty sure I pushed it. Well, let's see here. GitHub.com and your profile. Where do I get the link so I can share this on my Discord? Hmm. Yeah, I want to discard the changes. Mm, let's see here. If I go to YouTube Studio, yeah, I put it up there yesterday. Yeah, Team Trials Project Number Five. I want to pull that, but <clears throat> it's not here. Do I like refresh? Do you want GitHub? No, that's not what I wanted. Let's see, repos, project number five, clone or download. What the F? Where do I get this from? <clears throat> Concurrent viewers. No, cool. Warning: the current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. We recommend that you stream on stream a bit rate of forty five hundred kilobytes per second. Okay, cool. Well, that doesn't matter. Um, cat, what are you doing? <laughs> on github create pull request there we go no I don't want to pull that one though I want to pull the one I put up there yesterday I'd say clone or download um, open in desktop there we go cool all right cool clone it yes boom we figured it out <clears throat> All right, so now we got that. Fetch the origin or whatever. Give me my files. Are there no files in it? No, there are files. Cool, we got this. All right, so this is what we're building here. This is a little, just a little photo gallery. Um, I don't know if they, did they give us a, they didn't give us a mobile mock-up. So we'll probably just have like a one column layout and then two columns on tablet. And then this will be the desktop. And you're gonna be you're gonna be able to click on click on one, and we'll use the Lightbox plugin, and then we'll have to customize it a little bit, but it'll give us a screen like this. And then we'll also be able to search based on a data tag that we're gonna have in the images, and it'll pull up images that fit that data tag. And I have to go close my door real quick. So I'm cooking chicken, and it's. Outside. Currently, in Dallas, it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. 
All right. I don't have the fire. Ooh, thunderstorms. This is going to be fun. You too, Alexa. You're the tits. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I got the files open. It didn't give us anything aside from the pictures. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and do... Where's... There we go. New. We'll just do a text document. And this will be index.html. And we're going to open this with Adam. All right, and this is for project four, so we don't really need that anymore. There we go. Cool. And then we'll go ahead and do HTML5, HTML5, Control, Alt, Zero, to get our little boilerplate template here. And then let's go back to Team Treehouse and see what we need to do. Just look at the steps here. All right, before you start, blah, 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 get it up on GitHub, did that. This is what it gives me. Cool. Project instructions. Build the web page layout using HTML and CSS using the layout from the gallery mockup file. Create a gallery using the provided thumbnail images. Create a search box, can do that easy. The design does not need to be exact, but the general spacing and arrangement of the elements should match the design of the mockup. It's gonna be exact because we're, we're, we're professionals here. Uh, research and find a jQuery plugin for Lightbox. Do something for the search box. Make sure the code's valid. Cool. Now, what do we do for bonus? Mobile first design on both gallery page and light box. All right, that's easy. And then we got to write our own scripts for the search box instead of using a jQuery plugin. So this one's pretty straightforward. So this folder over here, so I can use all that here. Um, should we do SAS for this one? I don't really. styles.css don't give a fuck about IE9 because you're using IE9 you got some bigger problems to worry about as far as like security vulnerabilities and stuff and get a little bit of space in there and this will be uh, photo gallery and Where's my mock-up at? And we're gonna split this to the right so we can see it. Cool. All right, so let's do it. First off, we're gonna make the input here. Is that right? I think that's right. And then if we use uh, we can make a, like a, a div class equals container for the photos. All right, and then there's four, eight, 12 images. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I'm pretty sure we can just use Flexbox and use Flex Wrap to make columns. I haven't used Flexbox in a while because we don't use that at work, but we'll figure it out. So uh, photos, we can go ahead and grab. When would we use a, th oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna use thumbnails for the pictures and then are these all in the right order too? They are. Cool. All right. Sweet. So we can just go dot dot. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We just need to go photos thumb nails 01 jpeg. And then let's go ahead and open that in the browser real quick just to make sure it works and it's not showing my image so 
Do we have to have a dot out there? All right. Ah, we said SCR, not SRC. Duh. All right, and now we got to remove the dots. All right, we spelled everything right, right? And yeah, it's in the same location here. So F H O T O S, thumb, nails, zero one dot J P G. Okay. Do we need this here or not? Nah? Ha, huh, cool. All right, so we will just copy that and put that here and here and here and throw that in all these. Ah, dang it. Putting stuff in the wrong place. There's gotta be a hotkey I can learn to just do that faster. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and number twelve. Cool. And then we have all right, why is not loading all the photos? Why is DS store there? That's from Max. We don't need that. All right, guys, what are we doing wrong here? Let's see. Does it is it supposed to have that? I can't remember, dude. F. What up, three people that are here? Three people that are here. Y'all should come hang out in the Discord. We're trying to grow our little community, our Discord community here. Why is it only showing one image? Um, let's see. So it's still photos, thumbnail, 01.jpg, right? The first one works. If we put the first one twice, does it still work? Oh, duh, because we didn't switch the SRC for all of them. Ah, stupid spelling mistakes. We need to throw in a little bit of music, huh? Let me switch these real quick, then we can throw in some music. We got, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. Thanks, Eric. Just doing dumb stuff over here. That's what I get when I code all day and then come home and try to code more. All right, and then we just refresh this, and there we go. We got our image gallery, and then that we can type in there. Cool. And then let's go to um, non copyrighted music, EDM. And turn off cat blocks. Hope you guys like EDM stuff. All right. And then we need this to come out through focus right so I can hear it on my speakers or my headphones. And then we want to switch the mic output to focus right. There we go. We'll keep that kind of low. Uh, let me know if I need to like adjust the volume on that or anything for you guys. God, dude, if, if spelling mistakes didn't exist, code would be so much easier. I can't tell you how many times I've just sat, I've like been sitting there trying to fix something at work and I used like dot instead of hashtag when I'm trying to identify something in CSS and just being a bonehead. But all right, so now we gotta link up the style sheet. So rel style sheet path would be just, um, where is it, styles.css, and then, wait, I didn't put it in on its own folder, so that's all we need there. 
and then to test it we can just go up everything background pink so this is how I how I like to test my style sheets all right cool so style sheet linked up correctly look at us go here all right and then we're gonna do we're gonna select the container display flex um, flex actually we're gonna do mobile first so Ah, I have too many tabs up. Sticky notes, don't need those. GitHub. Not GitHub. Um, Discord, whatever. And then I can close. No, nah, I need to commit that after. All right, cool. So, where's the right thing? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And then with that, we can stick everything in a is my chicken burning hmm. give me one sec let me double check on my chicken real quick it's making some weird sounds But my chicken is smoking a lot. I feel like I'm not cooking it right. But I did this last weekend and it worked. So whatever. How quickly were, we, quickly were you able to pick up logical processes of writing JavaScript when going through the Treehouse? I'm self-teaching and that seems to be the biggest drawback at the moment. Uh, Team Treehouse. Um, I feel like the way Team Treehouse works is they'll show you a video and they're like, all right, this is what you can do with the language. This is the proper syntax. And then they give you, I like the quizzes they do because that kind of helps reinforce it. Um, but definitely go to like, because they don't give you like a lot of, a lot of exercises. So go to like free code camp or code wars or something like that. And if you go to their curriculum here, JavaScript algorithms, so like once you watch all the JavaScript videos in Team Treehouse for a section, come here and try to do some of these JavaScript challenges. So like this is a really simple one, just sum all the numbers in a range. Well, this that's intermediate, so I guess it's not super simple. Um, they have basic algorithm stuff though, like convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Like this is basically just doing simple calculations with JavaScript. So what is the calculation? The algorithm algorithm to convert Celsius from Fahrenheit is Celsius times nine and a half or nine over five plus 32. So we just do let Fahrenheit equal um, Celsius times nine over five, right? And then we'll put that in parentheses because order of operations plus 32 and then run tests and it runs the test for you. So it tells you if you got it right or not too. But you definitely have to practice. I mean, that, that'll that probably like figuring this out your first time. If you're not like, don't copy my code, figure it out on your own. And it'll probably take you like, I don't know, maybe like five minutes to get that down the first time. Cause like when you're first learning it, it, it takes a while to figure out the challenges cause you gotta sit there and you gotta actually work out your brain to think and say, hey, how am I gonna do this? When I do this, you basically just got to fit the pieces together and it's hard the first time, but it's like a puzzle. Like if, if you have a puzzle with five pieces, it might be a little challenging the first time, but if you get it together, it'll get better. Just keep practicing with it. But hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, I didn't answer your question at all. I think it took me like, I don't know, probably like a week or two to get like the basics down. And that's when I say the basics, it's just doing stuff like we were talking about in free code camp there. And I mean, I'm still learning JavaScript. Like I today at work, I do Mitchell rebuild WPEngine.com. 
Uh, do I even have the about page linked up right? I do, cool. So this is some website I'm building right now. But yeah, I'd use JavaScript to do this. And that was a little bit challenging to figure out because it's like on click of one of these dots, get the dots ID, find the section with that dots ID's person, and then display that section. It's kind of hard to explain, but Anyway, back to this. Um, so container, that's why it wasn't working. So we didn't use the right stuff there. Boop, okay, that's not great. So it is stretching it all the way. Why is that so tiny? No, 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 no. Live controls, okay, that's back up. And we need our little dev tool, because this is the greatest thing in the world. Google's fucking awesome. Also, if you guys don't know, Google had their keynote speech. Um, that's 2018. Yeah, they had their 2019 one today. So go check that out. Google talked about all the cool new stuff they're doing. And they Skynet is basically here. Not really, but they have a lot of cool shit they're doing. So if we do... Max with 100%, that doesn't work. Um, and then height auto. But if you do, if you like, I don't know if you signed up for Team Treehouse or not, but if you signed up for Team Treehouse and you did their tech degree, then they start you off with like pretty basic stuff, I think. I mean, it definitely takes a couple hours to figure it out the first time. But like I said, it's like a little puzzle. Like once you, if you practice, you get better at it. Um, why? Nope, can't use max with auto. It's not a thing, silly. Why is it stretching? It shouldn't stretch, there we go. Oh, it's because I'm using max width. Duh, stupid. I'm so dumb most of the time, dude. Hope you guys are smarter than I am. So if we go to Adam and style sheet, and we're gonna do, um, yeah, let's stick with it. Container images. Because we're gonna be using that Lightbox plugin later, and we don't want just select image tag and have that conflict with it. There we go. And then let's go to the body and give the body like padding 25 pixels. Does that look decent, I guess? And then images, we can give the images a margin bottom 25 pixels as well. Let's see how that looks. I need to merge these tabs together because they're getting in the way and confusing me. Huh, hide, use the copy button. Link will never expire. There we go. Cool. If you guys want to join Discord, That's a link for it. You can come hang out, we can talk, ask me questions, whatever you want to do. I don't like 25 pixels, let's do 50. There we go, that makes them look a little better. And then I want the padding between the images to be 50 as well. That looks better. And then we need to switch that back out for image number two. And then what is up with our little input right here?
Is that really 50 pixels? Alexa, how much time's left? You have 23 minutes left on your one hour and 15 minute timer. Hold on here. Uh, maybe it's just because the chicken was in the back of the oven because I moved it forward to the front and now it's not now it's not smoking as much do I use gulp? Um, not at work, I use it on my portfolio whenever I like make changes to it I just do gulp and it optimizes all my images and compiles all my CSS and stuff And I mean I think it's good practice. We can't really use it at work because we use like a WordPress template called Enfold, and that gives you like a, it basically gives you like a drag and drop div system, which makes building websites way faster. And then you can just use like a WordPress plugin to minify all, all your files. But I use it on my personal stuff usually. Probably not Team Treehouse because I don't, I don't really care if, it, if it's minified on Team Treehouse or not. But. All right, so why is, what the heck? Are we like super zoomed out? What's going on here? Font size, 18 pixels. That's 18 pixels? Kidding me? Did I, I need to do like a meta viewport tag, right? Let's go just, we're just gonna go steal that from my GitHub because I'm too lazy to, I don't remember what that tag is. I've made all of these projects before, almost, except the last two in this tech degree. I'm just doing this again for like review and plus I'm, I'm still getting stuff out of the videos because now that I'm like actively using what I've learned here, it helps drill this stuff down in my head. All right. Uh, meta. Do I need any of that other stuff? No, I don't. And then back to Adam and then we'll replace this little guy here and make that line up right. And then uh, don't need that or that or that or that. There we go. That looks better. Now we're not like zoomed out as heck. All right. And then we can change this back to I'm cool with 25 pixels now. Input though width. Ah, that's not right. We'll be. 100%. What? That's such a big difference. All right, well. Yeah, that's 25 pixels. It looked way different than that when I actually changed to 25 pixels in here. That's weird. 25, 25, refresh. All right, cool, we're still looking good now. And then we'll do input width 100%. Perfect. That looks off-centered though. Is there like, it's the border maybe? I don't know. That needs like padding. No, not the body, the input. Use a lot of PHP when developing WordPress sites. Um, not too much. I use it like maybe like once a month, 
Like there was one thing, uh, what was it, isgtech.com slash blog. Slash blogs. Huh. That's not where that's supposed to go. Unless they told us to remove it and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'd use, I had to basically build this part in PHP because it pulls blog posts from the blogs in WordPress. And you can like slide. So it has to pull the most recent blogs and it has to pull enough. And it pulls the titles, the date they were created, the tag from it, and just a bunch of different stuff. So I had to learn a little bit of PHP to do that. And that just took a that took about a day or two to because I'd never met I hadn't really I knew like some basic PHP, but I'd never done anything in it before. So I had to use that. Um so what fixes that? Is it border box? No, that's not it. Um, but PHP is fun. I, like I've heard people say it's dying, but then WordPress is like a substantial percentage of the web is built on WordPress, and as long as WordPress is alive, you're gonna need PHP. But I think I heard like an npm WordPress or something like that. I don't know. TJ was saying something about JavaScript and WordPress one day. I remember what he said though. Anyway, uh, what were we doing here? So, input overflowing div. That's what I was looking for. Box sizing border box. Okay. And if we just stick that on the body, huh? Is that. No, we stick it on the input. Oh, cool. Gotcha. I need to remember that, dude. I need. I can use that sometimes. Okay, the music has stopped. There's a guy at work, and he's Puerto Rican, maybe. I don't know. He speaks Spanish, and he's awesome. He's one of our developers, or not a developer. He's a designer, and I spoke Spanish to him one day, and now we kind of speak Spanish back and forth a little bit. And most of my responses are just no Indian, though, because I don't. I don't speak much Spanish at all. but I can do like some really basic stuff. All right, so we're also gonna give this some margin bottom of 25 pixels. And we forgot our little col semicolon here. And we'll go to, I needed to do something here, what was it? Yeah. It says 16 point right here, so I'm assuming it needs to be 16 point font. I don't know. I didn't put the padding in there, dang it. Um, padding 10 pixels, is that what we had? I think that's what we had. Yeah, that'll work. Some, some text. All right, so now we've got, we basically got the mobile version designed we need like a some kind of background for this ooh I kind of like that we're not reusing this publicly so I mean no it's got to be something that can repeat textured that looks like it could repeat but I don't really like it that much um, we're gonna go with background that can repeat. There we go. Free reading backgrounds. All these look like garbage. Ah. Images. There we go. <gasps> I kind of like that. 
the first one, the most popular one. Anything else look good? Yep, we're going with this one. Ah, there's a tag on it. Ah, there's tags on all of them. Can we just... All right, you know what? I'll get, just gonna, just gonna just stay white. It's gonna be a white background. So let's go ahead and get the light box plug in. Simple light box. I don't need the WordPress plug in. I need the, like the real plug in. Not for a WordPress. There we go. Uh, is this what I want? That'll work. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Show me on GitHub so I can just copy and paste your code here. Deploy MD. No. Uh, grunt file. Nope, that's not it. Hey, ARS, if you're still here, have you ever used grunt before? I've never used that before. And I'm just curious about the differences between that and gulp. No, 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 no. Distribution. JS. I need all of those. What am I doing? Is there a lightbox CDN? Can I just CDN this thing? Humidified. I don't think I need any of that. I've not had to directly import a J jQuery in a long time. And then, did the script tags, they go inside the body, right? Or out inside the HTML. That'll work. And then, uh, A light box getting started. I don't want to NPM it, dude. I just want it in my files here. Fuck it, we're gonna download this. Light box to master zip. All right. And then we can just open this up and drag this into our Team Trials projects. No, we can't because it's a zip, so we have to get it outside of the zip folder first. Oh, it's already here? What? There we go. Cool. Now we can drag it in here. This song is just not doing it for me. Borgor and G-Easy, Forbes. Fucking, we're using copyrighted music, dude. This isn't, whatever. Dude, have you guys heard, um, what is it? What's the really popular Old Town Road remix by this large man? Ooh, ooh ba -da -da, boom, boom, good time. Cigarette butts and moonshine. That's the song we're listening to. If you guys want to go see it, I'm going to have to give him credit, I feel like. All right, so Lightbox. Got the files there. Start by including the Lightbox CSS and JavaScript. Okay. They're both in the distribution. Do I need? All right, so I don't actually need anything else. I just need the distribution and then I can delete Lightbox master, right? SRC. Examples, I don't need GitHub. 
Uh, we're just going to use dist there and see if that works for now. All right, so input, and we're going to include that there. Path to lightbox CSS. All right, so dist CSS, and there's a lightbox CSS in there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that will be dist um, JS, and then there's a lightbox. JS in here, right? Cool. So we're good there. And then make sure jQuery, is, which is required by Lavox, is also loaded. Cool. So we'll do a jQuery CDN because I don't want to download files. Cigarette butts and moonshine. We're going redneck tonight. We want the midified. We're gonna make sure that's above the lightbox plugin since that's necessary for it. And then we don't need that anymore. I like using grid, got a bit more familiar than flex learning from free code camp. I need to learn more grid, dude. I've like I've the only time I messed with it was on free code camp, but I never used it in a project. So I just need to go back to free code camp and build a project in grid and get more familiar with that because I'm sure there's scenarios where that where like probably I don't know if this would be better like can you based on your knowledge of grid could you build this grid with less HTML than this because I'm like 90% sure I can do it with flexbox and I'm all about simple stuff all right so now we got those in there make sure jQuery's got it cool if you're not currently Oh, jQuery was in the file. Cool. Confirm your four images loaded by Lombok CSS are in the correct location. Um, you can grab the images from... Wait, what? I'm not feeling this song. The only thing I liked of his is the Old Town Road remix. Ooh, these guys have some good mixes. If you guys don't like EDM, might have to just mute me. Mama, just kill the man. Put a gun against his head. Pulled the trigger, now he's dead. Lightbox A image. So what do I do? I just um, image one optional and data tag images. Add a light box options. I thought I would just throw like a light box class on it and then it'd know to do it. Let's see. Single images, image sets. If I have a group of related images you would like to combine into a single set, um, I'm assuming sets would let me like switch through it. So I think we want that. If you have a group of related images. Use the same data lightbox attribute value for all the images. Okay. So if we do data lightbox, and then here we're just gonna throw that right there on these three, and then does this magically just work? What's our console saying here? Nothing. Okay. Confirm that the four images loaded by Lightbox CSS are in the correct location, and you can grab the images from the dist images folder. Okay. Um, dist images. Am I even like loading these incorrectly? Okay. Yeah. So that file is connected for sure like to test it like that all right so and then in the JS lightbox JS we're gonna do to 
to make sure it's connected here. And then we refresh here. And then in our console, it says connected. So that is connected up nice and good. And then save, because we don't want that in there for real. All right, so. Uh, does it need to be big? Maybe. Nope, it can be small. Woohoo! Come on, come on, come on, no rod. Oh, those four images, okay. Yeah, because we need those for it to work. Um, where do those need to be? CSS, Lightbox. So there's gotta be like an X. Where is URL? Okay, so yeah, up images, loading GIF. Cool, so those look like they're connected correctly. Clouds away, but it's too cold for you here. And now, so let me hold both your hands in the hose and the sweater. Oh, we have to wrap it in an A attribute, duh. Stupid. I'm just kidding, I'm smart. I need to work on my self-talk and be more positive. <laughs> All right, so photos, um, where, what is the file path again? That's it. Dwight, you ignorant slut. JPEG, and that's it, right? We need the data attribute in there, and that's what tells it it is a G a light box thing. And we'll just take that and stick that down here and save just to make sure this works. If this works, we're probably done for the night. Boom! Light box. What's up? And then if we do it here. Got the big one, cool. So we have to customize that. We have to build the full grid. How long have we been doing this? Let's see. Far away and hold me 47 minutes. Okay, that's cool. Next time I'll have my camera up and running. My phone was just almost dead. So, yeah. But all right, cool. So we gotta wrap all those. Um, I don't know what that just was. All right, I gotta go take my chicken out and eat dinner. So this is it for tonight, guys. Hope you all had fun. Um, Discord link is in the chat. If you wanna come hang out in Discord, y'all are welcome to. Subscribe and get notifications when I do live streams, I'm assuming. I don't know how that works, but yeah. I will see you guys later, peace.